guys, this is Apologetics again, and um, hi. I'm going to be focusing on the topic about the gay agenda. You know, I'm wearing my special cuddly shirt just for you, love. Anyway, you know what the gay agenda is. One, get equal rights. Two, try not to get killed. Sticks and stones can break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Well, that's not technically true in our society. I mean, I'd like it if you hurt me. Free speech to the fullest because if you say something about someone's sexual orientation, that can be criminal and can result in jail time. Actually, I see no problem with that at all. Well, I am a big fan of freedom of speech, and I think that free speech should be practiced to its fullest. Um, I think there's a line when hate speech exists, and I really don't like hate speech. I mean, if someone was to go running around and yelling, Hey, you fucking niggers, get the fuck off my lawn! Someone were to start yelling that at you, and please, no one kill me for saying that. Someone were to start yelling at you, things like that, wouldn't you be really offended? I mean, especially because of how that word's been used, if you were black. So, I mean, I think gays should have that same entitlement, don't you? And even in Sweden, the pastor was put in jail because he offended homosexuals in his sermon. Don't mean to bring up a point here when we're in the middle of something, love, but what do you mean with those quotey fingers? I mean, if I disagree with perversion or perverted marriage, I get called names like bigot, hater, and discriminator. Now, I'm treated as I'm like the bad guy and homosexuals act like the victims. By the way, maybe they are victims. I mean, it's not like we can change. By the way, you change out of that right now. And they even compare their gay rights movement to the civil rights movement and claim to be just as significant. Well, that's because it is, love. I'm not going to bow down to that. Maybe you will feel better if you bow down to that. Or at least to me. <laughs> I claim I've never seen a gay person have to use a separate water fountain, go to separate schools, you sit in the back of the bus, sit in the back of the restaurant, etc. You, hmm. you seem pretty wound up, pretty tense. You want me to give you a massage? Um, <clears throat> well, yeah, gays didn't have to do that, but were blacks arrested for being black? Uh, I don't think so. Were blacks allowed to get married? Were blacks allowed to do anything? No! Gays aren't allowed to do anything either. Oh, except, well, you know, pretend to be straight. You can't be comparing someone's physical anatomy of the melanin in their skin to a perverted behavior. You can't do that. Well, I mean, I don't want to offend you our first time, but, uh, you know, the genes for skin color are, you know, kind of similar to the, the genes for gayness, <laughs> if you want to put it like that. It's not like there's an official single gene that can be labeled as gay, but if you will work together and bring about homosexuality. And that's a scientific fact, love. You know, maybe if you experience this firsthand, we could use toys. You know, I have toys. Also, it's melanin, not melanin. Furthermore, a common argument from the gay agenda rants on people who don't support their lifestyle as intolerant. Now, I believe in tolerance. I believe everyone should have tolerance for each individual, but that doesn't mean we have to bow down to their lifestyle and accept all their behaviors. Look, we're not asking people to start tolerating us completely and accepting everything. No. And certainly, we're not asking you to bow down to anything either. Okay, well, I am, but that's an entirely different story. <laughs> anyway, um, all we want is to be tolerated. I don't even want to be accepted. I, I'm... I want to be tolerated. I want to be seen as a regular citizen, even though I like girls when I myself am a girl. The gay agenda preaches tolerance, yet they don't practice what they preach. They don't tolerate opposing views like people's family values, morals, and opinions. And then, if we don't support their lifestyle, they go off and cause bigots and haters again. What do you mean I'm not tolerant? I tolerate you. Pardon me, you come in here, I can let you do whatever you want. But I wouldn't. Because you're not like that. However, that's a little bit of a different thing. You, you go on to say some things about family values. Which family values? And I'm not asking you to be a lesbian. Well, maybe I am, but that's, again, different story. I'm not asking you to do that. I'm just asking you to stop hating us and just leave us alone. Also, the gay agenda claims that they were born that way, and if they were born that way, that we should accept that lifestyle. However, there is no scientific evidence whatsoever proving that people are born with a gay gene. 
Fräulein, you are very lucky that she is the one who is active. You don't think there's a gay gene? Well, I agree, there isn't a gay gene. But, again, there are <coughs> factors in the DNA that will make someone gay. In this way, you can be 5% lesbian, 95% straight. You know? And if you don't believe me, I'll let you take a look. That they are born that way, down our throats. However, there is scientific studies that show that people who are gay were environmentally affected when they are in their childhood. For example, some people might have been um, sexually abused or had an absent mother or father. Or they weren't into sports and boys called them sissies and there was gender confusion and there are other similar things. But I won't deny that, but that's not all of the cases. It's certainly not mine. Also, the gay agenda likes to hit us with the ER, the equal rights claim. It may sound cute and fluffy, but there's no truth to it. Every legal resident of America has the same rights. What rights do I have that homosexual doesn't? We all have- Well, seeing as you're my bitch now, uh, yeah, you won't have any more rights than the rest of us gays. Anyway. <clears throat> so, what rights do we have? Well, how about in some of the lower states, just for being gay or lesbian, you can be thrown in jail. Those are called sodomy laws. You can get fired from your job for being gay in most states. And basically, you can't love somebody. Marriage is more than just uh, a religious thing. Marriage is a very important legal thing, okay? <laughs> Marriage is... It's a, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting a little wound up. You're just so hot. <laughs> Marriage is a, it's an institution that's been made by the government nowadays, made by the government, so that we, as in the people of the United States, can live with our partners and do what we need to do. There's nothing more, nothing less than that. That's all marriage is. Why should gays be included from that? Why should lesbians be excluded from that? We all have the right to marry, but the definition of marriage is between a man and a woman. So they are just asking for special rights. The original definition of marriage was between a man and as many women as he could put his cock into. And then it became between a white man and a white woman, or a black man and a black woman. And now it's just a man and a woman. How about two people who love each other more than anything? <laughs> That's the way it goes. Homosexuality isn't about sex love. Though I do enjoy it. Not against the individuals, but I do not support that perversion. I have many family and friends that are gay, and some of them are the nicest people. I'm not asking you to support it. I've said this before. I'm just asking you to leave us the hell alone and let us love one another. And by the way, if you're such a bitch and you're such a homophobe, then they're probably not really your friends becomes legal, which it has in my state, in Connecticut, it now has to be taught in schools as a normal, healthy alternative. But why should that perversion be taught as a normal, healthy alternative when even the National Blood Bank does not allow gay men to give blood because of the That's high the health? Thing, love. You see, that rule was made way back when people had no idea what the hell AIDS was. So they thought all gay people had it. Well, they really didn't. So what happened? They just said, screw all the gay people. And, uh... Well, the rule hasn't changed because there's not enough left. I was going to give blood once, and I decided not to because of that rule. And just look at the Roman and the Greek empires, why those empires fell. Because of the big population of homosexuality and the decline of family, which is the foundation of society. So marriage is an important thing because it's about family. Most marriages have family. And if you start Greece. to... Fell not because of the gays. Greece fell because of the Romans. And Rome fell because of the Christian Empire, because it got so big it couldn't contain itself. And because of the Goths, the Vandals, and the Huns, who were positively delicious. Mm. Anyway, well, the Mongols were deliciouser, but still. Tongue for the win. Anyway, um, yeah, I agree. Families are the foundation of society. But why can't gay people have families? Why can't gay people adopt? Because you homophobes won't let us. You won't let us have any rights. We have to fight for them, and that's dep- Oh, would you look at that? Ten minutes already? Wow. I've been having so much fun. Was it good for you? It was good for me. 
All right. Well, I guess I'll have to go. You're pretty much done anyway. So maybe I'll pick on another video. Except, you know, you've gone and run off now. It makes me depressed. <laughs> All right. But I'm going to go now. Pray we meet again. Peace, love, and the inevitable flowers. Mwah. I love you, Billy. You're all I have anymore.